At the beginning of a war, the technology we fight with is very limited. But over the course of a war, we will unlock new technologies. To unlock new technologies, we have to go to an engineering center. To find an engineering center, we press M to open the map and we look for the engineering center icon. We come to the engineering center and when we're close to it, we can press E to open its menu. When we open the menu, we can see that in the technology panel under a research, there are two different categories. There is a vehicle research and there is weapons and buildings research. The research is divided in two levels where one level at a time will be researched. And if we scroll down, we can see that our current research is indicated by the gray bar. In the weapons category, we can see the same thing that the current research is indicated by the gray overlay on the level and the research icon in the right side. If we look at a research level, we can see that it is divided up into two parts. On the left side, we see the choice in technology for that level. And on the right side, we see the fixed technology for that level, which will be unlocked as soon as the level is fully researched. The research can be progressed by making prototypes of one of the technologies in the level. All the technologies that you can choose between in a level can be progressed at the same time. But as soon as the sum total of all technologies reaches 100% of research, it will unlock the technology that has the highest percentage of research. So for instance, if we have a two researchable technologies, a one is at 51% and the other at 49, that will unlock the entire technology level. It will unlock the technology that has a 51% research and it will lock us out of the one that has 49% until we come around to do the next tier of research. When farming salvage, occasionally a node of copper, aluminium or iron will pop up. You can farm these nodes just simply by using your normal hammer or your sledgehammer or a harvester. You can then take the copper, iron or aluminium to a refinery and refine them into alloys. To turn your aluminium, iron or copper into aluminium, iron or a copper alloy, we come to the refinery and if we're close to the refinery, we press E to open the refinery menu. In the refinement panel, we scroll all the way down and we can see that the last three refining recipes are iron, copper and aluminium. To refine the material you have, simply shift click on the icon of that material in the refinement panel and it will start refining it in, into the equivalent alloy. We take the aluminium alloy and bring that to the engineering center. When we're close to the engineering center, we press E to open it. We go to the weapons research tab and in the weapons research tab, we scroll to the current tier that we are researching. We can see that we are currently researching the Malone MK2 and that we can further the research by using 15 aluminum alloy to make a prototype kit of the Malone MK2. So if we want to research, we can simply left click on the Malone MK2 icon and we can see that when we did that, we gained a prototype kit and that we lost a 15 aluminum alloy. If we hover over our prototype kit, we can see that it will produce a crate of five Malone MK2s and that it will require 25 refined materials to make. To make a crate of the Malone MK2 a prototypes, we need 25 refined materials. So we grab 25 refined materials from our refinement queue in the refinery and we then drive towards a factory. We come close to the factory and press E to open the factory menu. In the bottom left of the menu in the inventory of our truck, we are going to right click on the prototype icon and select 
or left click on the produce a prototype button that will put the prototype crate into the small arms category and we can see that it will take a one minute and 40 seconds and it will cost us 25 r mats we have 25 r mats to finalize this production we just hit the play button and now it will start producing the malone mk2 now that the order is complete, we can simply click on the green check mark and that will put the crate of Malone MK2s into our truck. As we can see, if we hover over it, these are reservable, so we can even put these prototypes into our personal stockpile if we want to. The vehicle research is divided up into two parts. The first part of the vehicle tree can be researched by using iron alloy and the second part of the research tree can be researched by using copper alloy. We can grab the iron alloy by simply clicking on the iron alloy icon in the refinement panel from our personal refinement queue. We then drive to the engineering center when we are close to the engineering center, we press E to open its menu and we scroll to the current research. We can see that is the uh, Niska MK1 half track. We can see we need 38 iron alloy to produce a prototype kit. So if we simply uh, left click on the icon of the half track, we can see that we lost 38 iron, but we gained a prototype kit. If we hover over the prototype kit, we can see that if we want to make the prototype, we have to go to a garage and we need a hundred basic materials. So we grab ourselves a hundred basic materials and we come to the garage. At the garage, we're going to hop out of our truck, grab our prototype kit and our 100 basic materials into our backpack. We walk up to the garage till it says in the bottom left, press E to use garage. We press E to open the garage menu. In the bottom left panel, which indicates the inventory of our backpack, we go to our prototype kit and we right click on that icon and select by left clicking on it, the built prototype button. This will put the blueprint in the garage. We walk up to it with the 100 basic materials in our backpack and start hammering in the basic materials. If we come close to it and press E to open its menu, we can see that it tells you that it is a prototype by a this icon and we can see it on the texture that is different from normal textures as well. Once it is complete, we can take out the copper alloy and we take the copper alloy to the tech center. When we're close to the engineering center, we press E to open the research menu. In the vehicle tab, if we scroll down past all the things that are already unlocked, we can see that we are currently working on the research of a Devit Mark III. And in the pop-up, we can see in the bottom that the cost for a Devit Mark III prototype kit is 48 copper alloy. To do that, we click on that and it says a research succeeded. And we now have the prototype kit for a Devit Mark III. Now that we have made a prototype in the engineering center, if we tab into our inventory and we hover over it, we can see that we need a garage to build it and the price will be a hundred basic materials. So we come to the garage, we make sure that we have a hundred basic materials in our backpack and with the garage open, we right click on the prototype kit and in the selection menu, we click the build prototype. That will put down the blueprint. We walk up to it and we hammer in the basic materials. Just like other armored vehicles, the prototypes can't be stored in the personal stockpile. So if you come to a seaport or a storage depot that you have a personal stockpile in, you select a personal stockpile and you try to submit the vehicle, it will tell you that one or more items are not reservable. However, contrary to all other vehicles, prototypes can also not be stored in the public stockpile. So if we select public stockpile and we go to the actions panel and we try to submit the vehicle into
the public stockpile, we can see that that doesn't work either. 